Ruud van Nisselrooy has been stunning football crowds since his debut for Dutch club Den Bosch in 1993. His long and illustrious career as a striker has seen him go on to play for such A-list teams as Manchester United and Real Madrid. He was born on the 1st of July 1976 in Os, North Barbent, in the Southern Netherlands, which boasts a population of over 75,000 people. His first club, Den Bosch, had started back up in 1965 in the lowest professional league in the Netherlands. After finishing top of the table in their first season, they were immediately promoted to the second division. They've remained there ever since, apart from during one spectacular purple patch in the 1980s. Boasting their strongest team ever, they enjoyed seven straight seasons in the Eredivisie from 1983 to 1990, finishing as high as sixth place. While Ruben Nisselroy was at the club, Den Bosch never managed to repeat the feat. And after becoming the club's top scorer during the 96-97 season, Rude was transferred to here in Wien, earning the opportunity to play in the Eredivisie. His impact was immediate. The club reached the semi-finals of the Dutch Cup that year, while Rude scored 13 goals in 31 matches and was transferred to PSV Eindhoven the very next season. At PSV, he really showed off his talent. In his first season, he scored 31 goals in 34 matches and won the Dutch Player of the Year award. After two strong seasons at PSV, the star striker was signed to Premier League giant Manchester United in April 2001, almost a year after suffering a major knee injury. As you will be aware, Ruud van Nistelrooy has had a knee injury and has not played for the last six to eight weeks. A key focus of our test today has been on the injured knee and we have been unable to complete all the necessary tests to our satisfaction today. We will continue to conduct the tests over the course of the next few days in cooperation with PSV Eindhoven and will communicate the position as soon as possible. I am pleased to inform you that we have concluded negotiations with both PSV and RUD and we will complete the transfer as soon as the tests have been satisfactorily concluded. The original injury, which he had sustained during a friendly against Silkeborg, had caused Rude to fail medical tests to move to Manchester United. After making his comeback for PSV in March 2001, he was signed by Man U, 12 months after the original deal had fallen through. Fantastic. Of course, last year was close and there was a big disappointment that it uh, didn't come through. But now, after you know, a hard time fighting to come back, and my comeback was really nice, and this is the best uh, that happened to me. Manchester United paid a British record of around 22 million euros, over 500,000 euros more than the original deal broken in 2000. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm worth it. Uh, I have to prove it. Um, I want to become a better player and I want to show, show my qualities uh, at Manchester. And um, if you're worth it, uh, we will see that, but it's <coughs> not... Uh, I don't think in amounts, I, I think in, uh, in, in quality and playing good games and scoring goals, so uh, that's what I'm hope, trying to do next year. He didn't take long to settle into his new club, scoring 23 goals in his first season. During his second season, he was even more impressive, making defenders tremble with his incredible diverse arsenal of goal-scoring skills. His talent earned him an amazing goal percentage of 73% in his first season and a whopping 84% in his second season. Well, I hope I have a chance for Paul in this way. The percentage of scoring is incredible. But others uh, will do that. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it will come. There's no question about that, because they are scorers. Rude star flourished at Man U. His only blemish was an injury interrupted 04-05 season. Despite this, Rude built a reputation few could match. During his time at Manchester United, he kept the fans in raptures, helping the club to four titles, including the Premier League Championship, the FA Cup, the Football League Cup and the FA Community Shield. 
In the 0506 season, manager Sir Alex Ferguson left Root on the bench for six consecutive league matches. His exclusion had allegedly come after an argument with Cristiano Ronaldo, in which Root claimed Ronaldo was reluctant to pass the ball. In 2006, soon after expressing his desire to leave Manchester United, he signed with Spanish powerhouse Real Madrid for 24 million euros. It's a great honour to stand here in Bernabeu. It's a dream come true. Um, Real Madrid is a fantastic club. It's got everything, history. Um, the greatest players ever have played here, so it's, it's a great honour on my side. During his controversial last season with Man U, details of the argument with Cristiano Ronaldo were released. Roots claims that Ronaldo tended to hold onto the ball rather than pass ended with the striker allegedly telling Ronaldo to go crying to your daddy. After departing from the club, Roots spoke openly about leaving Old Trafford. The relationship with the manager was, um, was ended. And um, um, that was painful, you know, because I, I owe him a lot. He, he, he waited for me during my, by my injury. He gave me the chances and the confidence to, to play the best level I've ever played at the greatest, at, 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 at the, at the greatest club like Manchester United, um, and then um, um, whatever happened, you know, happened, but that, that sort of re good relationship came to an end. Despite the unhappy ending, Root insisted that the club and its fans would remain in his heart. My, my affection and appreciation towards the fans and, and Manchester United as a club and everyone who works at the club will be forever, you know, uh, that, that, that it's part of me. I've been there for five years, they were the most incredible years and that, that's what I'll carry with me for the rest of my life and you know the feeling that the fans gave me from minute one, they embraced me um, and they never let go really and that's, that's um, you know. Uh. His move to Real Madrid didn't dampen his appetite for scoring goals and he kicked off in a blaze of goal scoring glory. In just his second league match, he scored a hat-trick against Levante, and on the 12th of November 2006, he scored all four of Madrid's goals in their 4-1 victory over Osasuna. He also equaled the longest consecutive scoring streak in La Liga history, with seven straight matches. Not surprisingly, he finished the season as the top scorer. Real Madrid felt his influence, which helped them take home the 2006-2007 league title. The prize recruit underwent ankle surgery in March 2008 and, after returning in May, still managed an enviable 20 goals for the 07-08 season. His third season with the club, however, was plagued with injury. It was announced in November 2008 that he would miss the rest of the season. The problem was a partially torn meniscus in his right knee, with an expected recovery time of six to nine months following a second operation. Real deregistered Van Nistelrooy following the injury. He was out of action until the final preseason game before the start of the 2009-2010 season. Despite scoring a goal in his first La Liga match after the injury, he picked up a thigh injury during the strike. He was sidelined for another lengthy period before making his comeback on October 27 against Alcocon in the Copa del Rey. So far in his career, Ruud van Nistelrooy has scored over 300 goals in all forms of competition. His best return came in his second season at Manchester United, scoring 44 goals in total for the year. Ruud van Nistelrooy has so far earned 64 caps for the Netherlands and 33 goals. Although he debuted for his first national team in 1998, he had to wait until Euro 2004 to play in his first international tournament. He managed to score in all three group stage matches, guiding the Netherlands to the semi-finals of the tournament where they were defeated by Portugal. His scoring proficiency gave the Dutch fans plenty to cheer about. Setting out to score as many goals as possible, even he was surprised at how often he found the back of the net. My next challenge is to to keep going the way I'm going, and uh, that's that's a big that's a big challenge for me because you know I didn't expect to uh, go like this 
after two and a half years I scored 100 goals. Before his captivating performance at Euro 2004, Ruud and his Dutch teammates were gearing up for the 2002 FIFA World Cup, one of the biggest events on the sporting calendar. It was his first opportunity to play in a World Cup. However, a crucial loss to Portugal in the qualifying stages put them on the back foot. When they faced off against the Republic of Ireland in a must-win match, their worst fears were realised. They were eliminated from the tournament, but Rude remained gracious in defeat. I think we have to be uh, uh, humble enough to, uh, to other teams, you know. We have to respect uh, our position. We want to do well in every game we play and, and see if we can, uh, we can prove it. But for us, it's not in a position to, to talk about uh, winning it or, or, or anything. With the failed 2002 World Cup attempt well behind them, the Netherlands focused on qualifying for the 2006 World Cup to be held in Germany. With the host nation qualifying automatically, that left 51 teams to compete for 13 places in the European quota. The Netherlands landed in Group 1. Their opponents in Group 1 included the Czech Republic, Romania, Finland, Macedonia, Armenia and Andorra. The Dutch team performed strongly in all of their group matches. With the top place team to qualify, it looked like the long wait since their last World Cup appearance in 1998 could soon be over. The only blot on the landscape for Ruud was a yellow card in a match against bottom placed Andorra. He was provoked by Andorra's Antoni Lima, who laughed at him for missing a penalty. When Ruud scored six minutes later, he went to Lima and celebrated the goal in front of him. The Netherlands went on to win the match 4-0. The Netherlands managed to sail through the group qualification undefeated. They won 10 matches and drew twice, with both ties coming against Macedonia. Ruud scored seven goals during the qualifying stage. The Czech Republic finished the group in second place and also qualified for the cup by winning a playoff match. Romania finished close behind the Czech Republic. After the crushing disappointment of 2002, the Dutch striker was relieved to have gotten through the qualifying stage. Very, very confident and very positive as well. I think uh, uh, big teams always uh, show their, their, uh, how they really are by, by showing uh, how you react from disappointment. And I think we, we want to do and we want to show what we can do because we didn't go to the World Cup and we, we were very disappointed about that. Now we want to show what we can do and uh, we're very motivated about it and also very positive that we can make it. The good news sent the Dutch fans into a jubilant frenzy. On October 8, 2005, after eight long years of waiting in the wings, they finally had cause for celebration as their team officially qualified for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. The wait had been just as long for Ruud van Nisselrooy who could now look forward to competing in his first World Cup. After strong performances in the qualifying stages, expectations were high for him and the rest of his team. The fans were beside themselves. It's really jumpy, can't be better. This is so cool, I can't believe it. We're through, we're just through. The Netherlands landed in Group C. The group included Argentina, along with the Ivory Coast and Serbia and Montenegro. Rude started in all of the group stage matches, but only managed one goal, which came against the Ivory Coast. He was benched for their final match against Portugal, where they were eliminated. Euro 2004 remains the Netherlands' best result in a major tournament during Van Nisselrooy's tenure in the side. As well as making his best international performance to date, Rude's great form during Euro 2004 spurred his World Cup hopes. The atmosphere is great. We are very positive. We have a good team spirit and uh, we, we're preparing ourselves for, for the Germany game. We, physically we are getting uh, stronger and stronger and uh, you know, it's, a, it's a very big opening game, Holland against Germany. And, uh, you know, but it's always great to play in big games. Dutch coach Marco van Basten asked Ruud to replace the injured Klaas Jan Huntler on the roster for the Euro 2008 qualifiers. However, Ruud turned down the offer, 
and in January 2007 announced his retirement from international football. Four months later, Rude returned to the squad and helped them qualify for Euro 2008. They drew a tough group, but despite having to face Italy, Romania and France, the Dutch fans remained optimistic. Good weather. Nice girls, great game. We'll be world champions. I predicted 2-0. The whole day we thought it would be 2-0. And it came out as 3-0. It's incredible, really incredible. The Netherlands dominated their group in Euro 2008, winning all three of their matches. Rood scored during their 3-0 group stage victory over Italy and also scored the equaliser in their eventual 3-1 loss to the Russians in the quarterfinals. On the 4th of August 2008, Rude van Nisselrooy again announced his retirement from international football and a brilliant career came to a close. <laughs>
never afraid to drop a star player if he felt they were underperforming. Roode found this out when he was dropped for the Netherlands round of 16 match in the 2006 World Cup. A move for which Van Basten was heavily criticised. As a player, he was regarded as one of the finest forwards of all time and was named FIFA World Player of the Year in 1992. The immense skill and talent of a player such as Ruud van Nistelrooy bring with them accolades and trophies. They also bring great wealth in the form of millions of dollars played by clubs to retain his services. And by corporate sponsors desperate to be endorsed by a champion. Current estimates put Ruud's total income at around 6.3 million euros. With so many sponsors willing to dig deep to put his name on their products, he must be doing something very right. Ruud van Nisselrooy's three major sponsors are Nike, Coca-Cola and Pringles. For his role with Nike, he took part in the Stand Up, Speak Up Against Racism campaign. He has also featured in television ads for Coca-Cola and Pringles. Ruud's estimated annual earnings of 6.3 million euros add up to just over half of top earner Lionel Messi's income. Messi pulls in 12 million euros a year, followed by Cristiano Ronaldo, who earns 10.5 million euros. Alongside his football career, Ruud has started a family with his wife, Leontien Slats. So far, they have two children, Moa and Liam. Whether little Liam will follow in his famous father's footsteps is yet to be seen. Ruud has earned close to 20 individual honors in his career. The prolific goal kicker has won a number of top scorer awards, including the Premier League top scorer in the 2002-2003 season, an honour that has previously gone to such star forwards as Alan Shearer, Thierry Henry and Michael Owen. He has been named the Champions League top scorer three times. Rude's consistently stunning performances have also seen him win Dutch Player of the Year on two occasions and take out the Barclay card player in the same season that he was named the PFA Player of the Year. In a career spanning 16 years and counting, Ruud van Nistelrooy has gone from young upstart striker in the Dutch second division to world-renowned star footballer. With fans and admirers in every corner of the globe, his name will be revered for years to come. <laughs>